Glenn. Nice to have you on the show here. It's nice to be here. Um, maybe it's possible that you are have the longest way to, to the trip to here? Yeah, in kilometers maybe, but not in time, I think, because uh, it was like four hours, four and a half hours from where I live and to here, so it's not so bad. Okay, um, so Hans Hermann, the main organization uh, crew, um, uh, t told me that you are a very interesting uh, musician from Norway and I, um, I'm searching a little bit on your web pages and on your musician and I see several nice videos with children and uh, with an, uh, um, how it's called, this instrument, uh, the Zermin, right, thank you. And so tell us something about your music, uh, about your stylistic, your drawing, uh, what, what music do you prefer? No, I really like li uh, electronic music, and uh, of course, my one of my favorites are Jean Michel Char and uh, of course Klaus Schulze, mm -hmm. and yeah. So uh, I've been listening to that kind of music since I was like a child. I got my first cassette was Oxygen with mm -hmm. uh, Jean Michel Char, and I fell asleep to that like for many years. So it's been there. So uh, and uh, the normal way for you is to make then your your own music with. Uh, uh, influence style of those people you, you told about? Yeah, my uh, yeah, I make my own uh, music with the... Uh, okay, so we have uh, your last CD here called Message. Um, it was uh, um, made in 2009. Um, what will the listener sound or what will the listener listen to the music on this CD? What, what style is it? Uh, this is actually like uh, it's called. Uh, it has different tracks names like "Message from France," mm -hmm. "Message to Poland," "Message to uh, places around the world." And I try to get influenced by the by those places actually. Like okay. "Message from France" uh, to France is like with a accordion. The "Message to China" is with lots of drums and stuff. So it's an um, Antarctica is like a cold uh, synthesizer music. So it's a bit above that actually, but it's it's in the landscape of. Um, chill out, uh, nice uh, electronic music melodies. Uh, is it for you important to, to play your music live for an audience? Yeah, I love to play live. I, uh, I consider myself as a live, live artist, actually. I love to play live. <laughs> um, if uh, interesting people get on your webpage or on your MySpace site, we'll see uh, a short video uh, where you um, use this theremin and some other music. Uh, why was it? What was it? Uh, a special uh, concert, or what was the reason that you have so many children uh, in in the audience? You know, that's that's. Um I had a release concert for my first album, Electronic Secret, in 2008. And I had a concert in the town where I live, in, uh, in Norway, called Porsgrunn. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was like a local thing, so I invited the local choir, uh, small kids who were singing. And I also have my daughter on stage there, actually. She's playing uh, synthesizer with me. And sometimes I also even have my son on stage. So we are like a family business sometimes. <laughs> okay, so well, what, what can we... Um Expect in the next things. What what are projects or which projects would you plan? Do you plan? Yeah, I'm uh, releasing my new album now in November mm -hmm. this year, and uh, that will be maybe a little bit more up tempo and more sequence stuff and things. But uh, still in the landscape of electronic melodic uh, synth music. So, so um, the next thing where would be to to read with Hans Hermann to talk to Hans Hermann and Frank, and that you will be invited the next year to play here live. What will you say or would you say? I would say yes, yeah, <laughs> I would come definitely. This is a really nice place to be and it's so intimate and it's so nice. And uh, it's like, uh, it's much better to play for a crowd with 200 people that's really there for that music than playing for hundreds of people as occasionally happens to be there, you know. So this is really nice. Really okay, nice. so I wish you all the best and... Uh, take the chance to get together with Hans Hermann and Frank and uh, I'm sure it will be not the last time we see you here in Germany. I hope so. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye.